a drone colliding. I think we're going to need more level for this. Mason, can you do that, please? <laughs> you can go to set if you want. It'd be kind of a crazy transition. I think this is going to be a crazy transition, yeah. Actually, I'm going to set. We got to scrap this. Last five. How do you kind of strip this down a little bit and still kind of remain close to the core of what it was supposed to be? I don't sleep, Johnny. <laughs> I think they just changed the ending. The entire CMA community is watching. Move, Mason, Mason, move! Move! Prints cost money. Like, I mean, it's gonna be like a, a couple of dollars. It's the process we gotta go through. So, I mean, with receipts, you can go into a thrift store, get receipts, you get another 600 bucks, like, and all of a sudden, like, Yo! Oh my God. Are you a trendy CMA student? No way. No way. No way. Are you a trendy CMA student? No are you a, are you a, yeah, I don't got anything. <laughs> Can you pull focus on this? Uh, Ooh, the Paw Patrol backpack. This is going to be fashion week this year. <laughs> Trust me. Do you know what's confused about that? Um, we're a little worried. This is our icebreaker right now. <laughs> I did too. TV plays down here. The scene depicts a mass cult hammering a nail into the handles. I had pitched for Biola Film and it was really fun and exciting. Ethan like annotated like the entire script and like came to me with it. I had just never like seen kind of, I guess that level of like dedication really like <laughs> devoted to something I'd written before. Kind of knew I was gonna work with Mogs because they have worked with me on Downhaven and I respected them as a person, as a writer, and I appreciated their company, so. I decided to pitch the script with them. We worked really hard on those pitches. It was like finals week. And I remember I was on set for something till like 3 a.m. I had to have the pitch materials done because we were pitching the next morning. And so I was acting in a thing. And then I was also in between shots, sitting on the ground, like drawing. It was exciting for that hard work to like actually really pay off. The name Slide Rock comes from an actual place in Colorado, which has an, a local cryptid named the Slide Rock Bolter. So I kind of stole that concept a little bit. I have a huge affinity for like kind of local legends and folklore and stuff. We were meeting relatively consistently. We got the script to the place we liked it. it took about four months and then real life happened and we had to cut down a lot because of we didn't have enough money. It, it did go through like a pretty big redraft at the start of filming, which is, is always difficult as a writer to kind of like, we gotta scrap this and kind of rebuild some parts of it. I'm actually really happy with how every person working on it had a really good sense of what the story was. And in that way, it's like, I feel like the heart of the story and the core of the story has been able to remain the same, despite any sort of like logistical writing changes that had to happen. Sweet. Wait, this could be my be real. <laughs> oh, so real. Smile! Huh? You guys are all in it. You didn't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a you problem. Yeah. That's a that's Jay. a user error. <laughs> I know you're booming with excitement, but you need to mix it up. <laughs> Let's take it off the record. <laughs> I'm speeding out of here. <laughs> what are you doing right now? Sculpting the wireframe for the mask of the costumed version of this creature. I'm gonna build a big old mask around this guy with these wires and then some foam and some fur. And then pop the ball, which is kind of a tragedy because the dodgeball's fun. But we all make sacrifices for art. In a lot of ways, this is a love letter to like effects work and kind of creatures and stuff. Super strong ones embedded in the inside. I did the initial concept sketch for like this creature, uh, so it was really fun seeing Ryan and Logan kind of take that and run with it and what it ended up becoming. Our creature in a box. First time seeing it. This is the, gonna be the fabric for sure for the costume. I have six yards of this, so I can also use this fabric for the final creature. Do you like this color? <laughs> Yeah, for the costume, it's great. Okay, cool. No, first uh, time feeling it. Ooh. First time hearing it. <laughs> oh, let's go! <laughs> cool, the Compass 3000. Oh, I love him. He's so cute. Yeah, it draws perfect circles. 
at the length of the trumpet. It looks like a stick. I don't really have anything to show. <laughs> um, brought Matt Yen though. He's over there. Yeah. Yeah. Something a little hot for the Oh, that's kind of cool. That's actually so scary. That's actually <laughs> incredibly terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> but when you're in your crawling position, they'll sit pretty level. So you'll have your neck. Yeah. So I'm going to put them on. The chin strap will keep the mask on, but it goes to your left. You are too long. Okay. Oh, it's my baby Hugh. She was doing a little camp with this today. What is it, nine days? We're nine days out. So, I think she, she made the auditions. Now it's up to casting now. I'll be talking to Tara. <laughs> What's up? We're one night out from production. We have to wake up at 4 a.m. tomorrow. It's about 9 p.m. This is what I'm doing. There's a dummy that we use, a mannequin actually, that we use to put the costume on for the creature. That's what Ryan uses to construct the costume. And it's called Yin, Yin Damada, after our instructor, Dean Yamada. So what we're doing here is we're making a Yinzas <laughs> album cover in style of Kanye West. And we're gonna drop a really hard mixtape to it. And that's how we're spending our time before production. Cut. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, this is Chloe. Hello. Also Sammy. Hey. Hi. Yo. We out here, we out here caffeinated and whatever. Yo. I got like four hours of sleep. <laughs> hey, what did you just do, Josh? Did you just touch the department that is in yours? Don't tell the union. <laughs> They're gonna make me act up. <laughs> <laughs> we just did our first shot and it looks gorgeous. The whole film shot on iPhone. Josh Lopez is so sweet and very talented. Okay. That's Mason. Mason's also talented too. <laughs> He's so talented. That's it, cut. He's mixing? <laughs> Don't let this guy mix, bro. This Emma? Oops, sorry. I read the King James version because I'm a king. And there's James. So, Pauline, how have you been doing so far on set? Um, it's been okay. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just just one second. Um. <gasps> Alright, so how are you doing? What just happened? Oh my god, so tight. Flower growing wild and free, all I'd want is you to be my sweet honeybee. And if I was a tree growing tall and green, all I'd want is you to shade me and be my leaves. All I want Whoa. is you, will you be Stand my bride? Here with some Keep tape. Not, 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 not standing here with any tape anymore. He's actually very scary. He watches over us in the yeah. workshop. You broke Yeen! Yeah, you can reach farther than I can. He can probably reach into the farthest space. This is the monster shop. Just a lot of just stuff from people in the art department. A lot of love and just fun projects in this room right now. Who else do we got here? He looks like an avocado. A rocket ship, apparently. Superman with horns. And this is me! If I wear this, does that make me a furry? We're very protective over here. Now that's a screecher. Screecher. I hardly, hardly know her. <laughs> what? Oh. See, they always call for John. And I'm just learning to ignore her because they're never talking about me. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. They're calling for me now. Not like sandbag. sandbag. What the heck? What? The I like sandbags. No. It feels like. Yeah, where is this going? Hey, you sit on them. You don't pick them up. Okay. Where is this going? On the base of the mannequin. They don't need me anymore. Base of the mannequin. Wait, where is this going? Base of the mannequin. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Glory be. Beautiful lights. It's a Christmas miracle. It's my fifth cup. It tastes like death. I can feel it. Like I'm shaky. Oh yeah. 
glory. <laughs> <laughs> what are you packing up for? I am going home for Thanksgiving break. This is the longest I've ever worked in pre production on anything. It was about six months of pre-production. That's crazy. Yeah. For 12 minutes. <laughs> it's a 12 minute film. Six months of pre-production. I was very happy with the crew. I felt like I had recruited the right people because every single person like killed their role. So I felt very grateful. At the same time, since everyone was so talented, it was easier for them to recognize when things were going wrong or when I had missed step in one direction um, or when the production had, you know, kind of taken a detour from the traditional production path. Yeah, I think just the, knowing that everyone on my crew is so good, but I was the director, <laughs> there's like a lot of pressure that comes with that because I know that like, I mean, there were like at least five really good directors on my crew where I was the director. And that was like an amplification of the spotlight that I already felt. I, I, cu I cut another shot. Not really, I just moved it. Yeah, I have the power like that. So, okay, Lopez, we need a shot of the porch with no quint on it. So probably from down there, tight angle, looking this way. Okay, that's the one shot we need. The second shot is Clint's coverage of when he hear, he's like walking this way. He hears the monster, grabs his camera, grabs his bag, of tips. I'll stay on the same lens. Cool. They were totally listening. Yeah, I forgot actually. <laughs> first one, because that's the one I need right now. And we only had 30 minutes left in the day. The sun was going down. I just remember getting the first shot up, which was a process. I think everyone was saying important things, but they were all, like, everyone was just missing each other, myself included. We did a take. I looked at Josh. I looked at Grant. And I was like, to myself, we need to change this up. And I was scared to make that call because usually when you make a call like that, the implication is that things are going very wrong. <laughs> they kind of were in the sense that we did not have enough time to shoot a scene. I think the thing that kind of pulled me through that moment was, Dean, you and I had a heart to heart like three days before we shot and you were like, yeah, you just need to be confident in whatever choices you make and uh, feel free to change it up on set. Don't be stuck in the rigid filmmaking system that a lot of sets tend to fall into. In that moment, I looked over and I saw Dean Yamada and that was when I knew I had to change things up. <laughs> so I told Josh Lopez, I was like, dog, we're gonna scrap everything. We need to nail this one shot. So we spent our last probably 20 minutes just getting this one shot with Val. I explained to him what it was, yeah, that's what we're trying to and do. I don't think anyone really knew what I was going to do with it. Uh, not because they were incompetent, but because I just I didn't know how to explain it because we only had 20 minutes. I just had to do it. Okay. Is this me just Thank you. Up and having a Can I have you do that? Um, that is officially a wrap on principal photography of the Slide Rocks creature. Let's go! You know the Fincher quote. He says, you don't know what directing is until you have like five shots, but you can only get two. That's how you figure out how to tell stories. This is what we're going with. Like, let's see how this goes. Um, we prepared as much as we could to not have something like that, but you know, the moment does come. And we're gonna see what we got. Ethan, here is a poster signed what? by the whole crew. Uh, <laughs> Dude, what? Yeah. No but, uh, way. You can sign it too. I'll get a frame for you so you can put it in your room or something. Aww. So sweet. Thank you, Johnny. This is so sick. This is like the coolest poster ever, too.
BT, yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs>